Hey guys, it's Andrew Esquivel here, and today I want to talk about something that's pretty serious, something I would consider reviewer fraud. Now, here's the thing. On this channel, I do do a lot of reviews. Every once in a while, a company does come to me asking me to review a product. I do everything I can to be fair, objective, and not care about how I got the item. In fact, I addressed this in a previous video. One of the first things I do is I tell a company, hey, if your product stinks, my review is going to reflect that. And if it's good, I'll make sure to do that. I give all of the pros and cons. I've actually had companies back out of sending products because of that disclaimer that I give to them. Because there are too many reviewers out there who give a free, fake review that's positive of a product just because they were given it to them at no charge. That's not right. I don't like that. And I completely discourage anyone who does do things like that. You make all of us reviewers look bad. But luckily, there is a solution. This won't help on YouTube, but on one of the most major platforms for selling and reviewing Amazon, this tool is vital. I have tried to report companies many times before for what I consider to be reviewer fraud, which is what I explained before, giving a good review because you got something for free. Not based on the actual performance of the product, not based on how well it did, uh, it's, for, you know, it's, it's all based on the fact that they got it for free. That's why they give it a good review. And it's frustrating because Amazon is supposed to be a place where you can look up reviews and get opinions before you buy a product. I'm going to stop rambling for a minute and just tell you what it is. It's a website. I don't get paid to talk about this website. I was never approached by this website. I happen to find it in my own research. It's called ReviewMeta.com. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's a very simple tool. Okay, All you got to do is when you go on Amazon, if something looks too good to be true, it probably is because Amazon sellers are doing very tricky things. And they've done this with me as well, but I disclose this in the review before I even talk about the review. They are giving, and they used to give the product to you for free, uh, and they would get your address information based off of your emails that you sent to each other. But now what they're doing is because if you do it like that, it won't say Amazon verified purchase. And people will know right away that, oh, this guy didn't buy it on Amazon. He probably got it for free. So what they're doing now is they're giving coupon codes to those people who they want to review their products so that it takes 100% of the price off the product so that it does say Amazon verified purchase, which makes it even harder to determine which reviews are fake, which reviews are real, and who can you trust. Even Amazon Vine reviewers, those who are in the top 2,000, top 1,000, I've been in the top 2,000 reviewers on Amazon. I've seen a lot of top 500 reviewers even get skewed results because they got the product for free. It's not fair to the customer. It makes us all look bad. You're, as a reviewer, people need to be able to trust you. If they can't trust you, your review is worth nothing. Your opinion means zilch. Okay? Your word must be as good as gold. Review Meta helps take the frustration away from it. It doesn't have an analysis for every single product, but it can do a preliminary review and it helps sort through all the junk and whatnot to try and figure out if the reviews are legit. It will help you determine what percentage of the reviews were incentivized, meaning the company gave it to a reviewer for free and which ones were purchased by an actual person. It's fair to say that someone who purchased a product is a much more objective reviewer because they got it with the expectation of it working by spending their hard-earned money. Yes, there are a lot of people who get it for free, and they give a good review because they got it for free. I absolutely detest these people. They should not be doing reviews, and there should be policies on Amazon to make sure that they can't do reviews anymore because that's not fair to the customer, but the law or the rules in Amazon state, as long as you disclose that you got it for free, then you can do it. But a lot of people don't sift 
through the reviews. They just look at the star rating. It's not cool. Not cool. So seriously, check out Review Meta. You know, don't take my word for it. Just try it out. You'll start to see the truth on just how skewed Amazon has become. You seriously can't trust even Amazon anymore because they let too many of these things slide. And when I report these people, when I report companies for giving products, I've literally have. Here's a clear example. There's a company called Uber Vita. They sell supplements and whatnot for weight loss and this and that and energy and testosterone. Okay, great. Here's the problem. I didn't take the product performance completely out of the equation. They sent out a mass email to everyone who had ever bought an Uber Vita product uh, and said, hey, if you give us a five-star review, we'll give you a bottle for free. Here's the thing. The bottle, this is a new pill that they made that had never been shipped to anyone meaning it was brand new to the market and suddenly after coming into the market less than five minutes later there were thousands of positive rev positive reviews how could anyone review a product that they've never tried because it's never been shipped to anyone to actually do a thorough analysis of this is what I'm talking about that is reviewer fraud I've made a video about Uber Vita trying to do this but of course people thought I was talking about the product and not the reviewer fraud issue and they didn't listen to the video but just, I know I'm being a little hyped up here. I take reviewing seriously. It is what makes me my money on YouTube. I want to be as trustful as possible. My goal is to work for you, not the company. I don't care how I got the products. I have had companies stop sending me products because I gave them negative reviews, because their products really didn't work well. And I've also had times where companies continue to send me products before they hit the market because they know I'm an objective reviewer or I can remain objective and tell all the tiny little flaws in their product so they can fix it before it becomes the, goes to the mass market. So sometimes they like it, sometimes they don't. Sometimes the products are actually decent and the review reflects all the pros and cons. Pros and cons. That's the thing. When people get it for free, they stop talking about the cons. That's not right, that's not fair, that's not proper, that's not how you do a review. Stop doing that. Just try the review meta site a few times on a few products that have like thousands of reviews and it'll be eye-opening, I assure you. It's troubling, it's disturbing, it's saddening and it makes reviewers like myself who really do try and do a good job look like total frauds. That being said, thanks for sticking with me through this rant. It's something that's very near and dear to me. It's very important to me. I just wanted to pass along the information to you. You are the consumer. You hold the power. Don't let a company sell you something that doesn't work. Don't take things at face value. A little bit of research is good. And you're right to look at the reviews. That is basic preliminary research. But when you can't trust the reviews, you have to go a little deeper. The link is in the description. Just check it out.